What up, y'all? Clues here, coming at you with some World of Tanks replays of myself. Uh, I was playing World of Tanks, uh, it was like about a week and a half ago, while Holiday Ops was still going on. Trying to farm as many credits as I possibly could, because I didn't really get into it until the end of Holiday Ops. So, of course, I played the Credit Farmer, the Striv S1. And I had, I think it was in a five-game streak... I had three games that were 4k plus damage, all three ace tankers. Uh, one of them was like 1.4k plus base XP. It was insane. So I'm about to try to show you those real quick. We're going to do a little fast forward thing in between the action because most of the damage was done in a couple minutes. Alright, so here's the first game. Uh, this is on... Oh fuck, what map is this? Corellia? Ghost Town. Wow, I don't know any of these maps. Anyways, we got the first map on Ghost Town. It's a tier 8, all tier 8 game. Uh, as you see, I'm going to go south. It's Assault. I am defending. And as I go south, I go down to the K line and sit in a bush. Because that's what you do as a TD. Is you go to a bush and you sit in it. At least as the strip. Because you don't have armor. Uh, we're just gonna sit in this bush here, and I am waiting for the enemy to come over the hill. You know, very, uh, very high pace action. There we go, Lorraine 40T comes over, I pop him, and that's just the start. That is just the start. You know, waiting for the Lorraine to come out, and I believe the rest of their team is gonna pop- There we go, I hit him with a blind shot, I mean he got spotted. But I saw stuff fall down, hit him with the blind shot. I'm gonna shoot at him again. And we're just farming this Lorraine right now. You see there's a T69 and a Staw coming over the top. And we are just feasting. And there's a bounce because, you know, what else do T69s do other than troll you with their turret armor? I mean, you know, same stuff, different day. So right now, waiting for this T69, I think I'm going to start firing some blind shots here. Um, just waiting for them to come up and over this hill. We're going to speed the replay up. Because uh, it's just a lot of camping. You know, there's not too much going on here. Still waiting, still waiting, still waiting. And we see... Still sitting here, just waiting, you know, doing normal TD stuff, trying to see if they're going to get greedy and come around the corner, and they're not. Here we go. We got the T69 coming around. The tracks trolled me, because that's what they do. I focus on the GSOR. We miss, because I'm shooting at 440 meters, so of course I'm going to miss. I think we hit the GSOR here, though. Right through the middle of the turret. It was, uh... Bad dispersion, but good at the same time because it dispersed into the top of his turret. There, I'm trying to blind fire, um, and the T44 is raging at me. TD, no help. I tell him he can watch the replay because I clearly fired and I clearly missed. Uh, so, we're just going to keep going. The Scorp G comes up. So we turn around and bang bang, two shots into the Scorp G, back to the garage you go. Staw one, I'm trying to blind fire him here, I did not hit him. Uh, he was tracked, but I definitely didn't hit him. But I'm already up to 2k damage, and we are only, I mean we're not that far into the battle. <laughs> What is it? Four minutes? It's their ten minute battle. So we're like four and a half, almost five minutes into the battle. I've already got 2k damage done. Uh, you know, I've got a little spotting because of that scorpion. You know, taking some blind fires. And here I am trying to hit this style one again. I can't hit him though. I, I don't think I ever hit him. He's farting around with the IS-3. I'm mainly just waiting for these people to push because we're defending... Uh, blind fire, hit that ISU about 460 meters out, missed the second one. Here comes the GSOR, so we're going to farm him real quick. Reverse, reverse, try to get that spotting damage, make sure he doesn't see us when we fire, use the bushes as cover, move back up. 
set the binoculars. Here comes the T69. I'm going to reverse again because I want to make sure that he doesn't spot me until the last second. We hit the snapshot because, you know, Swedish TDs. And here we go. We're just going to farm this T69. Hit him in the butt. And he's going to go down there. And right now, we are going to push this T69. Because there's no reason not to. Um, I've basically won this side for my team. Uh, the other side is getting pushed. You know, we're a little far behind. But that's okay because I'm about to put my carry pants on. We hit battle stance. And auto-aim. Auto light them on fire. <laughs> Enjoy your barbecue. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm reversing because the, the S1 moves faster in reverse than forward. And uh, we're going to go push this Staw and this Wizzy. Trying to get a good spot up on here on the hill using this. And we're just going to pop the Staw real quick. And we're going to reverse. Uh, I was not spotted again. And once again, moving in reverse because the S1 is faster in reverse. And I know they have to cap to win. So I'm not too concerned about them winning right now. I'm just trying to farm and get as many kills and as much damage as I can. I'm already at 3.4k. Hit battle stance. Missed the track, but it doesn't matter. Because I have full HP. He's going to shoot me once. And then I just kill him here. And then the Progetto tries to shoot me. He bounces twice because he's a scrub. Bounces three times. Battle stance, auto aim because Progetto has no armor. You don't have to aim at the Progetto. And they're down to their last three tanks and we have won this game. Uh, Artie hits me because, you know, that's what Artie does. So now I'm just searching for the rest of their team. Trying to clean this up. Find the Progetto. Move around the corner, he bounces again, I auto-aim, he bounces. Second time, pens me a third time, already hits me, I'm on 1 HP. <laughs> this is beautiful, I'm up to 4.4k damage, and I'm just reversing, trying to find the already, but it doesn't matter, because the game is over. Let's get on to the next one. So, here we are, on steps... This is a standard game. I was AFK talking to my girlfriend, and here we go. We're off and moving. Going to the west side. West side, because this is my favorite spot to play on this map. You know, you go to the west side. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, shit. My bad, guys. Here we go. So, Scorpion is there. The Progetto hits him. I missed. Again, I was farting around. I was talking to my girlfriend this whole time. Not really paying attention. IS-3 gets across. And I get spotted by the butt of my butt. Like, literally the butt of my butt. My tank has two butts. And they saw the second one, not the first one. I said, F this. I'm out. Did my, you know, Striv S1. Uh, S key. Try to reposition. There ain't really much going on in mid. But there was nobody in mid, and because I'm top tier, I thought I would spot mid. And here we go, E25 doing E25 things. Popped him, damaged his tracks, but didn't track him fully. You know, clearly I'm spotted, so I'm going to reverse. You know, hit my battle stance. E25 rams, because that's what E25s do. They're just stupid. No, nobody who plays an E25 is, like, an actual competent player. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. We see that on the B line and A line, their team is pushing extremely hard. My team is getting overran. And I've got the Muppets at E1, you know, vibing out. They probably got some music going on. Maybe they got some ribs on the grill. I don't know what's going on over there, but they're chilling. So I'm repositioning to start farming. I'm going to let this Cheeto, you know, get the spotting and I'm going to do the damage. Our SUA is running for his life. I don't blame him, but here we go. Wow, that's okay. It was a pixel shot from 440 meters. I ain't tripping too much about that. We hit that star though. That we didn't deserve to hit that star. He got deleted. We're gonna try for this Basante, I think. Oh no, here comes the SU100. 
Mourinho. We don't even have to aim on the 100M. We just overmatch his side armor all the time. And th th this is just... We're just feasting right now. This is... Excuse me. A World of Tanks buffet. Straight through the upper plate of the SU-100. Because... <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. He has no armor. Trying to hit this P-43... But, you know, I'm getting trolled from about uh, 400 meters. Trying to blind fire. I'm still getting trolled from less than 400 meters. But, you know, you can't hit them all. We're just going to farm this KV-2. Because, again, you don't have to aim at a KV-2 when you're a top tier. He's got paper armor. You, you might as well be eating vanilla wafers at this point. Track the Churchill 7 because that's what Churchills do. They troll you with their tracks. But they have no armor as well, so we're just gonna keep going on this Churchill. Keep that left trigger firing. Trying to get help from my team. We bounce off the Churchill 7 because, you know, what is life but a box of bounced shells off of a tier 6 tank. And here we go. He's dead. I'm trying to get this SU. This SU is kind of frustrating me. I think I get him here. Hit the battle stance. And we bounce, you know, because once again, you gotta bounce at some point, bro. Like, you can't just, like, kill everything, you know. Tier 7 tank, let him have a little bit of armor, right? Uh, so we kill him, and we turn on the Basante. We're up to 3k damage already. We did all that in, what, like, 2 or 3 minutes? Like, I am literally just DPMing their entire team. And it's super fun. So we're gonna reposition... Try to get a better angle on this Basante because I couldn't shoot him from over there. Uh, so here we go. We reposition, hit the battle stance. We have a full shot on him. He's using. Oh, wow. That was terrible. Okay. You know, I am a 52% win rate player. You can't expect everything. So we're going to try to hit the side of his turret here. We got the side of his turret. He's salty. He's like, what the hell just happened? I can't spot this guy, but he's penning me. Uh, oh wow, he just spotted me, and uh, you know I tried to hit the miracle shot. Actually, it's the IS that spots me from behind, and he's clipping me out. I need to kill him right here. We all right? We hit him once. I need this Hummel. I need some support, guys. Cheeto, do something, bro. Like Frito Lay, I need you right now. Okay, we hit him. I don't know. We didn't deserve to pen that shell. But you know, sometimes you pen shells you don't deserve to pen. So we're gonna hit a little fast forward here. We're gonna turn around and go battle stance track the is and he's gonna die right here there we go all right now we got to figure out how to finish this game out because once again we've gone absolutely bananas in another game of world of tanks uh with the s1 clearly we're top tier so if we don't go bananas in this game then you know that's just a lack of player skill so here we go we're fast forwarding uh, I'm not entirely sure what happens here, but I know I'm looking for the Ag Panther. Uh, so I take some blind shots, trying to search for the Ag Panther with some blind shots, because I'm one shot. Here we go. Here's the Artie. We kill him. I don't know what the Artie was doing. He was clearly tilted and done with the game. And we have two more standard uh, shells left. Now. I've been using standard ammo this entire time. We put the HE on to <laughs> farm the M44. And here we go. Another 4K. 4.8K damage on this one, guys. That was game number three of this five-game set. Let's go on to the next one. And all right. Here we are on Westfield. We get the West Side spawn. You know, West Side, throw your Ws up. Please don't shoot me. Anyways... I'm AFK at the beginning, still talking to my girlfriend, you know, I'm just having fun. We're just farming credits, um, not really worried about what's happening, you know, I'm reversing because that's what you do when you spawn west side E-line as a TD, and you know, you're playing the S1, you just press the S key, you know, S1, S key, like that's just how it works. So. I don't know what this M12 is doing. He's derp. So I just set up behind him. I mean, you know what? If the M12 is going to get spotted, he can take the shots for me. So I'm set up. We got this dumbass getting blind fired by Artie already. 
you know, and he's just YOLO, he's about to die, I don't really care. But, you know, it's another top tier game where I'm a tier 8 with tier 6s, so... Yet again, if you're top tier, you better start farming. And here we go, first shot into the Staw. You know, their entire team's coming over the ridge. I'm using the bushes so that they can't spot me, and I'm letting my team spot for me. It's a little slow here, right at the beginning. Uh, let's see when we start farming damage. Uh, if I, I can't remember when they start pushing, but here we go. Super chaffy. Wow, that was a horribly aimed shot. Um, I don't really know what happened there. Maybe my girlfriend showed me her boobs or something. So I'm on the tiger. We're just going to start farming here. We got the tiger. DPM uh, up to date. I'm looking for the M4. Back to the tiger. Going straight through the frontal plate because the tiger has no armor. We're going to turn because they're pushing over the hill right now. I'm trying to see. Here's the OI. You know. Tier 6 armor against the tier 8 TD. It's just not going to happen. Like, I'm sorry, guys. You're just going to get farmed. It's a buffet. One more shot into this OI and he will die. And on to the next one. We're going to turn on this E8. go through the frontal plate I am all sorts of gassy right now he's dead turn on the super chaffy as he's pushing in uh, you know that's a little lag I definitely aimed that correctly he's dead I'm making sure I don't get spotted um, trying to get it on this tiger and their whole team just kind of got farmed you know, I'm up to 2.7k damage done right now. I'm waiting for the tiger to reverse. Ah, uh, we lose spotting of him. That's fine. I believe right here is when I start to push. So I push up to B2. I try to get a better view on their team. You know, so I come up to B2, set my binoculars, and the Scorpion G comes in to view because the Type 59 pushed. And, you know, thank you, Type 59. I'm going to hit the second one. And we just got two more shots into the Scorp G. And we're just hard W key at this point. I do not care. Uh, the Scorpion G can overmatch my armor, but I can overmatch his DPM. So we're just pushing up, uh, trying to get some damage on this Scorpion G. But I can't because he's there's just like a little weird ridge right there. Uh, and then I see the panther, he misses, I turn on auto-aim, and then I manually aim, and I'm pretty sure I went straight through that hole in his armor. I'm not exactly sure where that shell went, but it didn't, <coughs> it clearly didn't hit him. Uh, so I'm gonna turn on this Rudy here, he's dead. You know, I'm, now I'm refocusing back on this Scorp G and this GW panther, because, uh, the Scorp G is what's gonna win them the game. You know, if he does not die, I'm getting farmed. I'm getting farmed. But this is what you have to do if you want to win games. You gotta use your tier advantage to spot and get your arty to do damage to them. You know, I'm just spotting right now. You know, we're at 3.6k damage done. And we pop just the barely top of the Scorpion G turret. So I jump out of battle stance. We're moving now. I'm reversing, making sure the RD doesn't hit me. I do not know where their S1 is. He's over on the zero line in the end. Uh, so we're just going to push. I spot the S51. He's dead. And we're going to push. And we need to try to find this S1. Well, okay. I need to survive for a mission. Is this really when I become a bitch? I have 4k damage done. We spot the S1. The T34 is dead. Um, let's see. Do I try a blind fire here, I think? Yeah, I try the blind fire. It misses, and he's dead. And that was the game. That was my third ace tanker in five games. Another 4k damage done. 5k overall. We had a thousand spotting. I love this S1. It's so good. All right, let's get to the end battle screens and I'll show you the final stats. So here we are on Watt replays. If anybody wants to download them, I mean you probably don't because I just showed you. So this was the first game 
with the 1.4k base XP, we got 273,000 credits with that boost. You know, base was 91,000. Uh, go on to the team score, it was 4.4k damage, 1400 base, 6 kills. This is, I made 219 total. You know, I used uh, chocolate. I can't, whatever Sweden's thing is, obviously. But I, this game, I also had a lot of shots that just went wide because I was, you know, sniping at 450 plus. But that's what you do with the S1. Uh, on to the second game, which was the 4.8k damage game. Another ace, clearly. We got us Piscucci's because YOLO. And clearly got another high caliber. This was 89,000 base credits. 268,000 with boosters, 4.8k damage done, 5 kills, 1200 base XP, we profited 211 off of that one, and I blocked 140 damage with armor, let's go, <laughs> and the third replay we had was that final ace tanker, another high caliber you know it was top tier that was 81,000 base credits only 882,000 total credits earned there 4k damage done 1100 base or XP almost 1200 four kills and we only profited 138,000 credits with that anyways y'all that was my best stretch of world of tanks in a while really wanted to show it off you know with the holiday ops i had to farm this strv s1 because you know it is the credit farmer as everybody says and like clearly you know it has like what like a 0.25 dispersion or something like that really good dispersion values great dpm great pen great shell velocity this is the tank that you want if you want to farm as a td uh you know, three ace tankers in five games, not too shabby. I would say that you got to toot your own horn every now and then. Because if you're not playing well, then you do play well. You got to be like, damn, yo, I played some really good games. Otherwise, you're just going to be tilted. And, you know, the great games are the reason that you continue playing after your bad games. All right. Have a good one. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video... Hit that subscribe button. There will be more YouTube content coming out. I just finally picked up a preamp so that I can create this content for you guys. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. I'm feeling Peace. like I want to smash through the door. Snatch all the dough. Oh, run the cash. Give me more. Ass on the floor. Oh, smash through the door. Snatch all the dough.